Shell Appomattox. Welcome to the Gulf of Mexico, where the Shell Appomattox platform began operations in 2019. The construction team spent seven years building this massive structure, which is wider than two soccer fields, heavier than an aircraft carrier, and stands 45 meters tall. With oil reserves estimated at 50 million tons, the project is set to be a significant contributor to the energy industry. From an environmental perspective, the Shell Appomattox is noteworthy for its innovative approach to sustainability. The platform houses its own 150 megawatt electric power plant aimed at reducing emissions by a quarter. Additionally, it utilizes natural gas and steam turbines, all covered with insulation tough enough to withstand bullet impacts. The expected lifespan of this impressive structure is estimated at 40 years, making it a long-term asset in the region's energy infrastructure. Faymarn Belt Tunnel if all goes as planned, the Feymarn Bell Tunnel connecting Denmark and Germany will be completed by 2029. The first section of this monumental project has already been inaugurated by the King of Denmark, but the builders still have a significant journey ahead, once finished. The tunnel will be a cornerstone of Europe's road infrastructure and the longest underwater tunnel for cars and trains in the world. Stretching over 18 kilometers and located 40 meters below the sea surface, the tunnel will feature four lanes for vehicles and two tracks for trains. With an estimated cost of $8.5 billion, the project is an engineering marvel designed to drastically reduce travel time. Upon completion, the journey between Hamburg and Copenhagen will shrink from five hours to just two, revolutionizing connectivity in the region. Bauer Underwater Foundation Harnessing the ocean's energy could provide up to 20% of the planet's energy needs, equating to millions of terawatt hours per year. With investments in ocean energy reaching trillions of dollars, companies worldwide are racing to capitalize on this vast potential. Among them is Bauer Renewables Limited, offering cutting-edge underwater foundation systems designed for global use. These specialized foundations serve as reliable anchors for floating power plants and are installed by Bauer itself. Their SD3000 system is capable of drilling to depths of 11 meters and creating diameters of up to 2.3 meters. Remarkably, even strong currents of 22 kilometers per hour can impede installation. Moreover, Bauer's drill drive method places piles without driving them in significantly reducing disturbances to underwater ecosystems. With such advanced technology, Bauer is helping pave the way for sustainable ocean energy solutions. CarboShield CarboShield covers are a game changer for maintaining, repairing, and reinforcing piles, poles, and other underwater structures. Made from durable carbon fiber, these covers are designed with a gap for operators to pour corrosion-resistant grout, creating a robust protective layer. While the concept may seem straightforward, CarboShield is the result of over 40 years of development, culminating in a patented and highly effective solution. These covers can enhance the strength of piles by up to 35 times, making them indispensable for demanding projects such as bridges, military bases, and nuclear power plants. CarboShield is versatile enough for use with concrete, steel, and even wood. With a service life spanning several decades, these coatings provide a reliable, long-term choice for critical infrastructure. Barges play a critical role in transporting cranes and other heavy equipment for large-scale projects, and Poseidon Barge specializes in manufacturing, selling, and renting these essential platforms. Their standard P2 model boasts a load capacity of 9 tons. If more capacity is required, simply combine two P2 barges to handle up to 18 tons. One of the P2's standout features is its modularity. Additionally, its coupling system is compatible with other manufacturers' barges, allowing for flexible configurations even when time is tight. 
This adaptability makes it possible to build platforms for heavy machinery like the Manitowoc MLC 300 crane, which can lift an impressive 350 tons. Poseidon Barge ensures reliable and scalable solutions for demanding construction and infrastructure projects. Fender Marine Cofferdam Ever heard of a cofferdam? If you're in construction, you probably know these structures are essential for draining water from specific areas, making tasks like construction and flood control significantly easier. Over time, cofferdams have evolved, and much of this progress is credited to German engineer Triv Larsen. Over a century ago, Larsen devised an ingenious solution, bending a strip of metal into a U-shape with interlocking edges. This created a tongue and groove joint system that could easily be hammered together and connected to similar joints. Known as the Larsen Interlock, this method remains a cornerstone of cofferdam construction, showcasing the lasting impact of innovative engineering in modern infrastructure projects. Reef Systems in the early 1980s, coral reefs covered an impressive 600,000 square kilometers of ocean. By the century's end, this figure had plunged to just 250,000 square kilometers, a catastrophic loss for marine ecosystems and human livelihoods alike. Coral reefs are often referred to as the trees of the ocean, providing vital habitats for shrimp, crustaceans, and countless marine species, while also supporting millions of jobs in the shellfish industry. Reef Systems is tackling this crisis by designing and installing modular concrete reefs. These innovative structures are customized to suit specific parameters, such as wave height, and are immediately habitable upon installation. Additionally, these reefs can double as anchors for floating solar panels, combining ecological restoration with renewable energy solutions. Siemens Gamesa did you know Siemens has a division dedicated to wind turbine production? Known as Siemens Gamesa, it's one of the world's leading manufacturers in the field. With over 1,000 direct drive offshore wind turbines already installed across more than 90 countries, Siemens Gamesa has cemented its reputation for innovation and reliability. Recently, the company secured a significant contract to supply wind turbines to the Danish group Arsted with a planned total capacity of 1,400 megawatts. To meet such demands, Siemens Gamesa has developed a diverse range of turbines. The SG 7.0170, for instance, is ideal for high wind conditions with a capacity of 7 megawatts. On the cutting edge, the SG 14-222DD model can produce an astounding 14 megawatts of power. These technological advancements highlight Siemens Gamesa's pivotal role in advancing sustainable energy worldwide. Boscalis Borsale Alpha in 2022, the Netherlands sourced 15% of its energy from renewable resources, reflecting the country's strong commitment to sustainability. A significant contributor to this achievement is the Borsel Offshore Wind Farm in the North Sea, which generates over 1,500 megawatts of power. To deliver this energy to the mainland, specialized cable systems were indispensable. Royal Boscalis Westminster, a global leader in marine services, played a pivotal role in this project. The work involved laying two 61-kilometer-long cables to connect the Borsella 1 and 2 modules to the onshore power grid. A particularly challenging aspect was burying the cables 10 meters deep through a nature-protected area. This process required years of meticulous planning and execution to ensure precision, expertise, and minimal environmental impact. Despite the complexity, the project was successfully completed, demonstrating a perfect blend of innovation and ecological responsibility. Boscalis Greenfield Port This year, Nigeria marked a milestone with the launch of Africa's largest oil refinery, a facility so robust it can fully meet the country's gasoline and diesel needs while still allowing for significant exports. Developed by the Dangote Group, the project saw critical assistance from Royal Boscalis Westminster, a name synonymous with innovative marine solutions. The refinery's construction presented unique challenges due to its demanding location. 
To overcome these, Bosclus undertook extensive dredging operations, removing over 5 million cubic meters of sand from the seabed. They also constructed several sandbar groins and implemented erosion protection measures to safeguard the site. The project further involved the use of approximately 300,000 tons of stone and the installation of 150,000 concrete elements. The sheer scale of this privately owned project is remarkable, underscoring the transformative potential of strategic infrastructure development. BAM X-Block in the hands of skilled engineers, even a simple breakwater can transform into a masterpiece of design and function. A prime example is the breakwater in Israel's port of Haifa, which manages about 30 million tons of cargo annually. This 1,182 meter long structure is critical for ensuring smooth operations, requiring robust infrastructure to withstand the harsh marine environment. Constructing it involved around 35,000 concrete blocks. Israel isn't the only country with such advanced designs. In the French city of Calais, breakwaters are being built using BAM's X-Block units. These innovative blocks feature a unique shape that reduces concrete usage while simplifying installation. Standing up to 3.5 meters tall and weighing 33 tons, X-Block units are designed for maximum efficiency, strength, and durability, setting new standards in coastal engineering. Underwater welding. The Divers Institute of Technology DIT, offers a specialized training program that spans over 900 hours, providing students with comprehensive skills needed for underwater diving and welding. This program covers everything from working with a compression chamber to mastering specific techniques like underwater welding. One critical component of the curriculum involves diving to a depth of 50 meters, where students work on a pipe with a diameter of 56 meters and a thickness of 1.2 centimeters. This hands-on experience teaches future professionals the necessary skills to conduct underwater welding safely and effectively. Throughout much of the program, students train in open water as it helps them develop real-world skills that can't be replicated in pools, ensuring they become some of the most qualified professionals in the industry. Sheet Piling Sheet Piling UK, a British company, has been actively involved in port projects for several years. A notable example is their work in Great Yarmouth, where a local pier wall spanning 190 meters had reached the end of its lifespan and required a complete rebuild and modernization. To address this, Sheet Piling UK was entrusted with the installation of 398 sheet piles. The project was challenging due to several specific conditions. For instance, the team had to install a silt curtain around the site to prevent environmental damage. Additionally, the team was under tight time constraints, with just 22 weeks to finish the entire job. Each sheet pile measured 19 meters in length, which meant a significant amount of hammering was required to get the job done efficiently. Inspection ROV a remotely operated underwater vehicle, ROV, is a specialized device designed to access areas that divers cannot reach, such as pipelines. The operator controls the ROV remotely, allowing them to inspect underwater structures and, if necessary, use the manipulator arm to perform various tasks. The ROV shown here is used by the Octo Diving Team. It can dive to depths of up to 130 meters and is equipped for a wide range of tasks, including locating wrecks. The ROV is equipped with built-in sonar, allowing it to operate efficiently even in currents of up to 7 kilometers per hour. Its 4K camera and automatic stabilization system ensure that personnel on land receive clear, high-quality images for inspection and decision-making. Yusuf Feli Dam 
Let's take a moment to appreciate the Yusufeli Dam, a remarkable achievement in Turkey's hydropower industry. Completed in 2021, this hydroelectric power plant has some impressive features. It generates 1.705 million kilowatt hours of electricity per year, contributing significantly to the country's energy supply. The construction of the Yusufeli Dam required an extraordinary amount of concrete, over 3 million cubic meters at one point. Towering at 270 meters, it ranks as the eighth tallest dam in the world, showcasing engineering excellence. However, the project came with significant challenges, including the relocation of a village with approximately 7,000 inhabitants to make way for the dam's construction. Despite these challenges, the Yusufeli Dam stands as a symbol of Turkey's commitment to expanding renewable energy infrastructure.